This is what I woke up to the other morning from this little superstar where butter wouldn't melt in her mouth, but she likes trash apparently. So what I wanted to show you today is how to create some 3D prints. I'm going to do it two different ways for two different jobs that I'm doing. And this first one is a dog lock for my trash can. So the trash can pulls out of the kitchen island. And what I want to do is to lock that trash can uh, door. Now I already had one on there, already designed one. It was working perfectly fine, but over time the PLA has got weak and it broke. So now I've got to redesign it, make it a little stiffer, I think. So I had done it previously in Fusion and decided this time I'd do it in FreeCAD. So I made a diagram, as you can see in the top right there, made a diagram of the existing one and then went from there, modeled the part and improved it a little bit in the stiffness and then 3D printed it. So I'm gonna show you all of that as we go. When I created this model, I was careful with the topology issue. So I made sure I was using offset planes, offsetting them from the local coordinate system. One thing that you can't fix with that is if you add radiuses at the end. So I in fact did that. I added radiuses to the end because I wanted to have curved um, edges where your fingers touch this lever. And when you make a change later on, I made a change to the size of the um, hole in the, in the piece. And of course that messed up everything. Uh, when I added a new edge, it messed up all the edges in terms of um, the radiuses. So now the radiuses moved or, or just didn't appear. So I had to undo all the radiuses and put them back on. So I can't stress enough how important it is to add radiuses and chamfers where you're gonna do them uh, as an addition rather than modeling them into a sketch. Um, when you do that, make sure you do them at the end because it's easier to redo them if that's the case. So that one's all done and working. It's on Thingiverse if you want to get it. Um, I can put a link in the video below. This one I just wanted to show how you can do something where you don't have all the dimensions but you do have a picture of what it is you want to create. So one of the handles on my um, chest of drawers broke and I've had all kinds of trouble trying to find the right one. You can buy these handles, but not these exact ones for some reason. So I figured what I would do is just 3D model one from the picture. And I didn't complete this one yet, but I did do enough for a prototype. So I'm going to show you just how I did that. You basically have to take the picture, scale it. So you, you take a measurement across the part and you scale the picture on the uh, plane. And then you can just literally trace around it. So you'll see that. And I traced half of it and then just mirrored it once it was uh, a model. Mirrored it, that puts it together. And then finally I created an STL. And of course I put everything into Cura when I create my 3D printing files. I didn't show you Cura, but I'm assuming everybody knows how to use the slicer. And then I just 3D printed it and then I show you it actually on the chest of drawers. This was just a quick video just to show a couple of ways you can use uh, FreeCAD to create some 3D printing uh, going along with my other CNC videos. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's loads more coming. I'm going to try and uh, put something together a bit more detailed modeling in the next video.